welcome to the Bettendorf Public Library's Take Home Workshop. Today, we're going to be doing monogram string art. In your kit, you will find most everything that you need to make string art just like this. Uh, you only need to supply one tool, so let's take a look at what's in the kit. First of all, we have a block of wood that you're going to be nailing into. Now, this was a one by six, an eight foot one by six that we cut down into six inch sections. And then using sand, just uh, sandpaper, we knocked down the edges a little bit, took off most of the splinters, made it a little smoother. And then we gave it a wash with acrylic, a gray acrylic paint. So a real watered down paint, brushed it on, wiped it off. And it gives it a little bit of an older, more weathered look. So that's what we've done so far to prep the wood for you. Um, like I said, we sanded it to knock off most of the splinters, but be aware, it could still happen. Um, we also have one skein of black embroidery floss in your kit. You can use other kinds of string or yarn or whatever you have around. I like the embroidery floss. It's a, it's a good size for the nails and everything that we're doing. And you have your nails in an envelope. So these are just um, a wire nail. They do have a, a head on them, not too huge, but not too tiny either to help keep the thread on the nail. And they are one inch. So they make them, you know, all different sizes, shorter and longer. I like the one inch for this. You can still put them in pretty deeply, but there's enough room to wrap. And of course your patterns for letters, since we're doing a monogrammed um, string art. Now, we supplied patterns for the alphabet, but that doesn't mean you have to do the alphabet. If you want to do a heart shape, if you want to do the silhouette of the state of Iowa, if you want to do anything else like that, all you need to do is find that shape, find that silhouette, make sure it fits on the square of your block and you can use that instead. The one thing we're going to ask you to supply, of course, is a hammer. Um, whatever hammer you have around that is comfortable for you to use, should work just fine. So let's get started. To start in making your string art, you're gonna start with your pattern. I'm gonna do the letter B for Bettendorf and decide which side of your wood you want the design to go on. Um, one might look nicer than the other. Center up your pattern on the wood. And then you're gonna to want to start by nailing in at the corners if you have corners. So if you have a le the letter O, for example, you might wanna do top, bottom, side to side. But this is a good way by going around and getting just the corners to start with. It holds your pattern in place. And gives you an idea of the spacing that you're going to want for your nails. If you get one off to the side, like I just did, if you can see that, it went to some, just use the claw of your hammer, pull that one out. The nail's kind of crooked, we'll set that one off to the side. Hopefully we won't need that try again. Okay, that one is a little bit crooked too. Sometimes you can hammer them back straight. There we go. So the next step here then is going to be to fill in this rest of these spaces. Um, Keep your nails as uniform as possible. I like to do not more than about a half inch between nails, which is about the width of my pinky finger. So nail, nail, nail. You could also like between these two, do a middle one and then half and half. But I go usually about a pinky fingers difference and we're gonna go all the way around. After you've pounded in your last nail, you're gonna to wanna to take a look at it from the side and make sure that none of them are sticking up too high, that they're fairly even in height. And if there are some that are a little higher, 
there's some that are a little higher, just take them down. Just take them down a notch. Just give them a couple extra whacks. So now you have your letter very firmly nailed to your board. We don't need the letter anymore, so now we're just going to peel away this paper and just tear it off. Pieces. If there are tiny little shreds left, like right down here at the base of the nail that you can't get, probably not to worry. You can get a pair of pliers or a, a tweezer and get in there, but that will be covered up by the floss as we start our winding. So now that you've hammered everything in and cleared out the paper, you are ready to start with the string. So what we've given you for the string in your string art is just one skein of black embroidery floss. We're gonna slide those off and we're gonna open it up a little bit to find the end. There it is. So you're gonna start by just tying a knot around one nail. And I like to start in a corner nail. Um, it is a little bit easier to tie a knot just because it's a little bit more exposed. So we're gonna tie a knot nice and tight. And we're gonna double knot it because we don't want this knot to come undone. That's our anchor for the whole piece. Okay. Then we're going to start And you don't even, you can cut that end if you want, or you can just twist it. You can start, we're gonna start by going around the outsides. We're just gonna go around and at any corner or any spot where it makes sense, we're just going to do an extra wrap around, especially if we're changing directions. So we're just gonna go all the way around the way we run. So we'll have a nice border done. And then if you need to, if you have a letter that does that, you just pop over the middle, wrap around, and do the same thing for these middle sections. I try and wrap pretty tight so it doesn't come off, but you're gonna to wanna to be loose enough that you can go through every once in a while and kind of push things down to the bottom. So we're gonna pop over the side here and then go back and do our other middle section. Double wrap around those corners or edge pieces to hold it secure. Okay, so you have a letter B, and now we're gonna fill in. And this is the fun part, it's just random. You can go however you want. So, I'm gonna go from here to over here, to down there. As long as you stay inside the, the boundary that you made, the border. And we're just going to keep doing that. We're going to stop every once in a while and push these threads down so that um, we have room to keep doing it. And we're just going to keep going. Try and keeping the string um, evenly disseminated so that you don't have one part of your letter that's really, really dark and another part of your letter that's really light. And we're just going to keep going and we're going to use up that whole skein of floss. When you get down to the last little bit of your floss, you can go ahead and do another border around the outside like you started off with. Just again, give it a little bit more of that finished look, wrapping it around those corners. And when you're down to the end, you're going to want to then just 
knot it off again. And I find it easier to make the loop in my thread and holding it tight with the loop over a nail rather than just tie it actually right there. It's, what's tricky is keeping the thread tight as you make the knot. And then you can either weave your end in or you can grab a pair of scissors and trim that off or maybe even a little bit of both. And there you have it. Pretty quick and simple. Think about um, what else you could do. You can paint or stain your wood. You can leave it natural, any color you want. The thread that's out there, you can get metallic. You can get any color under the sun. So the only thing that you are limited by is your imagination. Whatever shape you want to do, um, you've got the skills now to do that. Enjoy your string art.